Hi folks. While working on my video about moving things with sound, I wondered if I could use plastic things from around the house to make a musical instrument. I found that straws fit the bill perfectly. I'll show you how to make some simple straw reed instruments and explain a little bit how they work. The first thing I did was to collect a bunch of different diameter straws from various food vendors. To start with, I'll make some reeds. This is one already finished. These two blade-like shapes cut out of the end are the reeds. When you blow on them, they vibrate. But what you hear isn't that vibration. That vibration causes them to come together and move apart. But when they come together, that pushes on the air at this end, and the resulting compressed wave moves down to the other end. It travels at the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second, or 767 miles per hour. When it reaches the end, it comes back up the tubes, and then goes back down and back up, and so on. So the reeds don't control that speed. That's determined by the speed of sound, ignoring temperature, humidity, etc. And in fact, once the back and forth wave gets going, the reeds will start vibrating at a rate that matches that wave. At the opening here, that wave interacts with the air outside and pushes and pulls on that air too, producing the sound wave that reaches our ears. Making these reeds can be tricky and take patience. Use your teeth to flatten one end, starting around one and a half inches in or four centimeters. Make sure you flatten the sides. I also flatten the middle. You want it very flat, like this. The tip is sometimes less flat than just behind it, so I cut that off. Then cut a wedge shape like this. Often the two tips are stuck together, but in this case they're not. If they are, a gentle squeeze on the sides opens them up. Here's how close the reeds are together. A quick test shows that it's a little hesitant, or it may not work at all. To help the reeds come closer together, you can fold them like this, and then turn it around and fold from the other side. Bending them like this also helps. Keep working at it until they're close and it works well. With these smaller diameter straws, no matter what I did, the tips bent upward and that doesn't work well. With patience, you'll get it. Time to make a straw trombone. I was lucky enough to find one straw that fits snugly into another straw. So I taped the bigger one to the end of the one with the reeds and then put the smaller one inside it. Now I can change the length of the tube. If you listen carefully, you'll hear that the longer the tube is, the lower the frequency, or pitch. And the shorter the tube is, the higher the frequency. So I then divided the length I could move it into five notes, marking them out using a ruler and marker. That gave me enough notes to play the first part of Green Sleeves. And now for a straw trumpet. There's another way to change the length of the tube, and that's to put holes in it. So I removed the third straw and measured out evenly spaced locations that my fingers would fit on comfortably. I put a dowel inside to give support while I cut the holes, and then I cut the holes. If this hole is uncovered, then the tube is more or less effectively this long now. If I cover that hole but uncover this one, then the tube is now this long, and so on. If they're all covered, then the tube is this long. So I have nine notes to play with. And here's me pretending to be a minstrel, playing a little bit of Scarborough Fair. And that's how to make some simple reed instruments using straws. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more fun videos like this. In keeping with the idea of sound, here's one about how to move things with sound. Another about a hand-cranked music player I made using a 555 timer chip. And how to make a crystal radio, one that gets its power from the radio waves themselves. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.